Okay, I'm all, I'm sure that you guys already heard about the two police shootings that take had taken place. One with a guy that I first heard was a preacher. I don't know if he was really a preacher. Uh, then I heard he was a disabled man, which I really don't know if he was a disabled man. That's what they say, okay? Uh, the last shooting that was done was in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, where this guy was allegedly waiting for his son or his grandson to come out um, and he was reading a book and the cop shot him. Now, can we really say that this is racism? The one that happened in Charlotte, North Carolina because the cop that shot the black man in North Carolina happens to be black himself. Uh, some people may say, well, it can't be racism because a black man to kill the black man and blacks kill blacks every day that's what people love to say primarily white folk but it can be racism because there are so many black males and black females that's racist and discriminate against each other blacks have so much hate within themselves that they want or rather see another black person suffer and they rather see the death of black men and black women, even if it's at their own hands. Okay, so yes, it can be a racist killing, even though it's a black cop killing another black dude. I'm driving in the car and I'm saying to myself, what is really happening here? You know, um, at one time, a lot of the police shootings were justified because they say the black male had a gun, he was a gangbanger, he was a drug dealer, what have you. But lately, especially under Obama's administration, a lot of these blacks that's killed are unarmed. Now, the one that they say was disabled or was a preacher, I read an article where it said that they found PCP in his vehicle. I don't believe what cops say because cops lie. You can't believe what they say. So, I really don't know what to say. Is this some type of ritual? Um, we already know that this is by design. It is by design. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, is, it, is, is it their way of trying to kick off a race war? But the more I thought about it, the more I pondered on it, a thought that came to my mind was, this is a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword because we already know about the curses in the book of Deuteronomy. You know, and the Most High says, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. But can we always use that as an excuse as to why blacks are dying like, we, like they are? Okay, and the sad thing about it is, blacks don't do anything about it. I'm thinking to myself that I'm not even going to read any more articles like this. I don't want to see no more articles. I don't want to see no more videos like this because at the end of the day, the only thing blacks are going to do is protest and then the cops are going to walk and then everything is back to normal. Everything is back to business. Nobody's thinking about it. And they may post a couple of memes and talk about it, but nothing's really done about it, you know? And there's blacks who say, well, what can we do? Well, the same thing that you do when a black person look at you wrong and you feel they disrespected you or they disrespected your mama or they disrespected your woman or they looked at your woman wrong or they shot one of your homeboys and you felt the need and you would not rest unless you got revenge on them. That's the same attitude you should take against corrupt police. Okay, now I'm not saying go out there and kill random police. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the ones that do the murder and get away with it, those are the ones that should be targeted. Those are the ones that should be targeted. Man. Not innocent cops that haven't done nothing, right? But the ones that did the murder, those are the ones that should be targeted. Okay, so it's a double-edged sword, man, because it could be the curse and then at the same time, the terrorism that's taking place in this country could be because of the fact that blacks or Israelites are being slaughtered like they are. 
You know, like, why are you slaughtering the Israelites like that? Why are we being killed? Okay, so now you have black males that don't commit crimes now are concerned about that. They're thinking, like, what if it's me that's driving down the street or I'm waiting on my grandchild and I get, I get killed? Now, they say they, they, they found PCP on this dude, but did they plant that PCP? Now, if that were to happen to me, I'd want y'all to tear this country down. Not just the city, just tear the country down. Anyone that had that's responsible for this, and I'm not saying target innocent people or white folks, target the cops. Every cop that's in this country, target them. That's what I want. And then, more than likely, if they would try to probably try to plant some type of drugs on me, I don't even take an aspirin. Okay, that's the thing about it. It's like, oh, we found drugs in the vehicle. Well, he don't even take an aspirin. You know, he don't do drugs. You know, we can't even get him to take medication. You know, so how is he going to take drugs in his body? Poison. All right. So that's what they do. But it's a double-edged sword because blacks are being killed because of the curse. But at the same tech token, this country is being under attack by terrorists because of what is being done to blacks. So it's a double-edged sword. It's chopping down. It's chopping down those that's cursed, but at the same time, in defense of those that's being chopped down because of the curse, the Most High is allowing terrorism to take place in this country. And the more blacks that's killed innocently, more unarmed blacks that are killed, I'm not talking about criminals or drug dealers or gangbangers. I'm talking about blacks like this, like this dude that was walking to his vehicle with his hands up or the guy in North Carolina that's sitting in his vehicle reading the book according to what the article says. Those, those their blood it will be on the hands of this country. Because you see under the, the under the Obama administration, you don't see Obama doing that. You don't see nothing that's happening from the White House that's protecting blacks. Everybody is a protected class except for black Americans. It's okay. And Barack Obama stood up and said that he is on the side of law enforcement. So he told you right there that he don't care nothing about you. And you guys are still voting for him. You're still supporting him because he's black. And you, now you're going to support Hillary Clinton. See, what does that say about you? You are asleep. So that's why it's so easy for them to do what they're doing and get away with it because they know that they don't, they don't have to suffer no consequences behind it. They get away, they go, through right, they go right through the system and the system is in favor of them, supports them, protect them, they get away with it and you sit idly by and do nothing. But you will kill your own people. You will kill your own people. So it's a double-edged sword. Israel is being cursed, but at the same time, a curse is coming at this country, at this nation, because of the crime that's committed against Israel. So the more blacks that's being killed by law enforcement unjustly, the more terrorism you're going to see in this country. And it's going to get worse, worse and worse and worse. But the Most High says to Israel, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then you will hear from heaven and he will forgive your sins and heal this land. So feedback, tell me what you think. I'm going to post those two articles on the bottom. I want you guys to check it out. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Financially support it if you like what's being said. Until next time. And I thank you people that have already, the ones that have already financially supported this channel. I thank you for that. Till next time.